up you guys my name is mary i'm with high priestess intuition welcome my current subscribers and welcome 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 newbies if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings this free channel is for readings for all time caps we decide to everybody in between don't forget the basics time is fluid energy is fluid if it doesn't apply that it's fly. everyone has free free will only take the messages resonate with rest free channel collective readings love and appreciate each and every one of you guys if you'd like to donate to high priestess for five the link's in the description box below paypal only no cash app no venmo it's a very private confidential way to donate if you choose to donate love and appreciate each and every one of you guys okay so um i received a channeling in i hope everybody's doing well um i do i do i do who the channel message i received was um Someone's control and abuse tactics are about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. Um, I heard um, one of these situations, it is um, someone holding back an opportunity. Um, that was the first one. The second one, I heard um, trying to hold back a contract, a legal contract. I heard, but that's about to backfire. Um and um, the third one was power of penis. And I heard penis, not, you know, power of pee, like cool cane. No, no, I heard power of penis. So you plug it in how it resonates. How that resonates applies. So someone's control and abuse ta tactics are about to backfire. One is holding back a legal contract, like a, a legal contract, not a false contract, not a, um, you know, co like a fake ass contract. We've been pulling in false contract energy, inter um, contracts that should not have been made under fraudulent pretenses. This is not that. This is a contract, like a for real, for real contract that can be made very legally and blase, blase, blase. Holding back that. That's the first one. The second one was holding the power of the P. So penis, though. Penis, not cocaine. Um, that's two. And then the third one was, um, what was the third one? Oh, my gosh, I forgot. I forgot the third one. You have to go back and check it. I forgot the third one. You can go back and check it. But however, whatever... That's, people play, love to play mindfuck games, man. And that's just the truth. That's why I like to stay to my damn self. And that's just the truth. Um, but I heard it's about to backfire on them, whether they're holding back the power of penis, whether they're holding back a legal contract, or whether they are um, doing the other one. However, that resonates and applies, Okay. some cards Spirit messages, okay. Mature woman in reverse. Family room upright. Number 21 or 6 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 21 or 6, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Or any other significant number in one's life. 21 or 6, mature woman in reverse. Family room upright. Um, by the way, I was going to tell you guys real quick while I'm on here. Um, and I'm thinking about it. I might start a new channel, exercising channel. Now, I've been thinking about this for a couple weeks. I can't put the music on here for copyright infringement reasons. I can't just play music because I would love, if I'm going to exercise, I like to do it with music. That's how I do it at the walking path. I put the phone inside my boob and my strap right here and I walk. Um, so if I was to do it in here in my living room, I would want music playing, but I can't do it on YouTube with the music playing. Um, for copyright infringement purposes well I, well i guess i could i could i would just have to tag the songs in below but i don't know i just have been thinking i mean i could do that but um 
I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'd really want music. But I think it'd be a fun way for us to all get on here and exercise together. Um, I mean, I just walked about three miles myself. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay. But I was trying to think of a fun, creative way to um, bring it on YouTube. So, if you guys wanted, it'd be like working out to a, um, to a um, exercise. You know, uh, like a, what's his name? Richard Simmons or a Jane Fonda or a what have you, what have you, except me. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, so, I'll have, I don't know. I'm still thinking on it. Just saying, just saying. Okay. Okay, so mature woman, family room reversed. Our family room upright. Someone is spreading huge lies that someone is a hoe again. You know this person's not a hoe. It, the rumor has went around before. Someone is spreading around huge lies that um, so, uh, a fem energy, a fem energy, fem energy is a hoe. I heard the lies have been spread before. I heard you know she's not. Okay, here's the deal. If she's a hoe, she's a hoe. I mean, and that's just the truth. If you're a hoe, just say you're a hoe. And I'm just being for real. You're a hoe, you sleep around, say you sleep around. I've been completely honest with you guys about everybody I've slept around with. Um, the last how many years I've had sexual intercourse, which has been many years. I've been completely honest on here about that. I mean, because there's no reason to lie. If I was out dating, I'd fucking tell y'all. But there ain't nobody in town that I'm interested in dating. And that's just the damn truth. But anyway, somebody's saying that somebody's a hoe. It's about to seriously backfire. It's about to seriously backfire. For some, it's your baby mama. For some, it's your baby mama. Okay, um, so, whatever, man. That's just too much shit. That's too much drama and too much shit. It is what it is. People that gossip like that, they have nothing better to do, and that's just the truth. They have nothing better to do. And I'm serious. I'm so serious. It's really sad. So, somebody's gossiping saying somebody's a hoe. Um, but I heard it's about to backfire, so I guess somebody's about to figure out some, that person's not a hoe. Um, but like I said, people only really gossip like that when they're bored or they have nothing better to do. I heard from one of you guys, it's your baby mama. So they have premeditated um, motives there, um, and that's just the truth. Now, like I'll give you an example. My ex-husband... I care less. Like, he's married. My ex-husband's legally married, right? But, he's legally married. But, and, I, and I'm not saying he's cheating. I'm not saying he is. But, if he was, and I knew about it, well, I'd tell her. I was going to say I wouldn't tell her. But I would tell her. I would tell her. Because, um, I remember all those years when he cheated on me. So, I would. I would tell her. In an absolute minute, I would. Yeah, I would. New York minute. Um, but my point is, sometimes people are not over their exes, is my point. <laughs> I got off. I'm over my ex. And I've been over him for ever since we got a divorce. <laughs> so, I mean, he knew that. <laughs> and we were stuck in legal, um, we were stuck in the legalities of that shit for like two years. <laughs> I mean, I was... But chomping at the bed to get a damn divorce. And that's just the truth. I was chomping and he knew it. I worked minimum wage at Jack's raising my kids, chomping at the bit to get a divorce. And it took like two years to do it. But we finally got it done. But I was over him even when we signed the divorce decree. And I was I was. But some people are not over their exes. They're not over their baby daddy. They're not over their what have you, what have you. Um, I don't have that problem because once I'm over you, I'm over you. And that's just the truth. Um, once I'm over you, I'm over you. And that's the truth. I don't have attachment issues when it comes to like that. If we date, we date, we can see how it goes and then see how it goes, yay or nay. You see what I'm saying? Um, but as far as sex is concerned, um, I'm, I'm, 
hell, I haven't had sex in a while, but somebody's out there um, um, saying somebody's a hoe. Like, she's a hoe. She's a hoe. Now, would I like to have sex? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Uh, but I'm not going to have it with nobody in this city, and that's just the damn truth. People down here are fresh right. Um, <laughs> and that's the truth. But, um, but... I wouldn't just go out looking for anybody is what I'm trying to say. I want a stable, grounded, dependable, reliable relationship. Uh, but it's hard to find people that that um, share the same goals, share the same aspirations, that don't have a million STDs, that don't, because I'm STD free. I've only had one STD ever in my life, and that was about eight years ago. It was shortly after I graduated nursing school from a childhood friend. Um, from my hometown. Um, I apologize. Let me take this real quick. But but it was trichomonas. And I told this story when I worked at a Compass Health Rehabilitation Hospital, actually, back, way back in the day. And um, I've never told it to anybody else. But I did tell it to my coworkers there. Um, because at that point, it had only been like three years or something. But I did. But I went to a health department. I got it treated. And I was cool. Um, I haven't had an STD yet. Um, I, not yet. I haven't had an STD since then. But I haven't been with anybody in like forever, like three or four years. So, you know what I'm saying? So, but everybody's different. And the way this city's growing, being the biggest city in the state of Alabama, I mean, hell, I'm picking up prostitution rings left and right, left and right, and left and right, still in my region. Um, still. So, I mean, and with us being the largest city in the state of Alabama, I know there's prostitution rings around here. I know there are. Um, confirmation from my kitty. But it's just it's just the damn truth. But somebody saying somebody's a hoe. One of you guys at your baby mama saying that somebody's a hoe. Like, like seriously, like, she's a hoe. Like, she gets money and uh, 200 and sticks it down after doing whatever she's doing. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. If anybody's doing that, ask for more. Just saying, just saying. Your body's worth a hell of a lot more than that if anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. It really is. It is, it is, my friend. Just saying, okay? If anybody needs to hear that. And someone gossiping that someone has an STD is about to seriously backfire on them because they're about to wind up with a very, very, very serious STD and it's about to make them very ill. And someone gossiping that they have, oh God, so someone gossiping that they have a very serious STD. Um, I'm sorry, gossiping that somebody else has a very ST, uh, serious STD. I heard um, it's about to backfire on them and they are about to... Um, get a very serious STD, and I heard it's going to make them very, very, very ill. Yeah, see, why can't we all just um, go out, work hard, make a hell of a lot of money at good professional jobs, or at least I hope, or go get your education, or or realtor's license, or some, or some kind of professional type situation, and go out and make hella good money, get with a good, stable, grounded, dependable, reliable a partner that could has the potential to make a lot of money, or does make a lot of money, and go out and be a power couple. And I'm just being for real. I mean, Lord, this is this is a bunch of drama shit, is what this is. And I'm just being for real. I mean, this person definitely is very immature. I feel their femme energy going out, talking all this BS. I mean, gossip never helps anybody. If anybody needs to hear that. It never makes anything better. It always makes it worse. It's like verbal manipulation. That's very immature energy if you might need to hear that. Now, I think it's taking a place in a house or a living room or a family room or around a family. So it's a family room. Immature energy, you guys.
You are masculine energy having to deal with all this drama and BS. You're about to put this person on minimal contact. You're masculine energy having to deal with all this drama and BS. I heard you're about to put this person on minimal contact. I think it's this person. And honestly, I don't think they have a job or business. I mean, like, I, yeah, hell yeah, I've been wrongfully terminated four times in my universe. But at least I have a fucking business. At least I'm doing something with my life. And that's just the truth. And I plan on moving out of the city. And eventually, I do. I mean, I, at first, I know I told y'all the other day that I was, I've was, i been wavering back and forth. I was going to sell it, and then I wasn't. And then I, and now, but yes, I, I really do think it's smart for me to sell this house. That way, I can get out of here. That way I can get out of here because this city is just toxic for me now. And I'm just being serious. And especially now I don't have my kids. It doesn't, it doesn't make not one pill of beans of sense to stay here. Not one, not one. So absolutely it makes sense for me to, to leave. So I considered um, Friday night when I drove back, not selling the house. Um, I was at Mapco and there was about 20 very young teenagers not teenagers but young adults there very young um and of course i gave them all my business cards hey 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 hey, hey. um but um but it, it i don't know just hearing the conversation i just knew i was even though i've had a lot of setbacks at 39 i'm a hell of a lot further than that and that's just the truth i mean no offense to you guys no offense to y'all young bucks no offense no offense just saying but I mean, I'm being for real. I'm being for real. Um, there was some yikes conversations at the Mapco. Yikes, yikes. Just saying, just saying. Ah. So, <laughs> so it is what it is, you know. But whoever this person is, your masculine energy, and I heard basically, um, one it's your baby mama, one it can be somebody else. It's just somebody very fucking immature, and they keep getting in your ear, basically. But I heard you're about to mentalize contact with them. Um, you're about to mentalize contact with them. I think it's going to help with the drama buzz in your ear, help with the drama period in your life, and help you be able to focus on yourself or your goals or a relationship if you have a relationship or dating or what have you, what have you. I feel for some, you, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I feel for, okay, yep. I think for some, you're single. And I think you're very wealthy uh, for some. And I'm just being for real. And I think you're about to get high honor for this because we have high honor under it. I think you're about to get high honor for cutting off um, or minimalizing this very immature femme energy. Um, contact down with her. For some, it's your baby mama. For some, it can be any other immature femme energy or a masculine female heavy femme. But um, I think you're about to get high honor and you're a wealthy man and um, I think you're single or you're on a break. I don't believe in breaks because that's like friends energy and Friends is a TV show. That's not, it, I mean, yeah, it's fun to watch it on the TV, but I wouldn't want that as my real life. That's just too much drama. I want a stable grounded, I want to be able to talk. I don't want people on breaks. I Like the whole Ross and um, Rachel thing. Uh, Ross and Rachel had a really true connection. Absolutely they did. But there was too much on and off and on and off and especially after they had that kid too much on and off and on and off um i want my kids to have stable stableness and dependable 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 i can't speak dependability and reliability um and i have provided that for them for many 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 years many many moons many years um uh, by not having anybody in my life and that's just the truth nobody um i wasn't even dating for years for them. You know what I'm saying? I could have dated if I wanted to. But I know how my ex-husband is. And if I started dating, my ex-husband would have been asking me 50 fucking million questions. And that's just the truth. And I don't want him in my damn relationship. And that's just the truth. You know? So, um, but now that I don't have full custody of my kids, I probably will start dating when I move. And that's just the truth. I probably will. Be able to enjoy life a little bit. And that's just the truth. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. And a water sign is about to make a very important phone call about Gemini masculine soon. Very important phone call. The past of this person. Very dark. Okay. 
Okay, and I heard a water sign, masculine is getting a huge spike up call. I've been pulling a lot of sign, well, a lot of water sign masculine energy recently, water sign masculine. If you have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, North Node Main Haven, or Jupiter Charge, so that resonates for you, sir. But um I heard uh you know some very dark paths on a Gemini masculine, whoever this person is. He could have Gemini Miss Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Main Haven, or Jupiter Charts. That resonates for you, some kind of very dark paths. Um I heard you're about to get tell it to somebody somebody very influential and very important okay i heard you're about to tell it to somebody very influential and very important and a false contract that has been voided and nulled and voided is very significant in this and a pay to play is about to be shut down okay Okay, so you, Water Sign Masculine, you know this Gemini Masculine, your past, you're about to reveal this information to somebody very important. Soon and quickly, soon and quickly, soon and quickly. So somebody very important, soon and quickly, their dark past. Now, I'm assuming this Gemini Masculine has hid his dark past from this very important person. I'm, I'm assuming they're in the public eye. Very much in the public eye, very much. Okay, so they're very much in the public eye, very much. Um, but it sounds like you're doing it for reading. They have some kind of dark past, um, and you're doing it for reading. How that resonates, so, um, uh, sorry. Um, and, um, there's some kind of pay-to-play scheme that's about to be shut down, and some kind of false contract. Now, I didn't hear breach of contract. I heard false contract. So, it's a contract that shouldn't have even been made to begin with. I heard that's, a, um, that's null and void. So, it's, it's gone. Null and voided. <laughs> Next. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, you're not concerned. You're not concerned. So you're about to reveal this information on this dark side Gemini masculine and um and of it, of his past. Um, it's gonna. It's going to benefit a feminine energy and children in a huge way. It's going to benefit a feminine energy and children in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. You're not concerned about this. Um, how this resonates. How that resonates and applies. Okay. All right. I think we're done. Love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. And I'll see you.